Hey everyone, this is Mayur. Welcome back to MLWorks. In this video, we'll be discussing and implementing a chatbot application using Streamlit and Cohere. Streamlit is a Python library that helps you to create simple UIs, what we can see on our screen. And Cohere is one of the LLM providers similar to OpenAI and Anthropic. Now what we'll do is, uh, there are two key parts to this particular UI. One is the sidebar and that is the one messaging system what we can see in, uh, at the center. Now we'll try to build this using Streamlit and we'll also integrate our uh, application that Streamlit UI with uh, Cohere as the backend for interacting with the API of LLM models. Now what we'll do is, we'll go to VS Code and we'll talk about our code, what we have done here. and. Uh, so first thing is we have to create an environment where you will be installing Streamlit and Cohere. So I have done that already. So I have uh, an Conda environment py38 which runs on Python 3.8. So I have also noticed that there are some uh, compatibility issues with respect to Python packages with Streamlit. So that's why I have created this virtual environment and I also recommend you to create a virtual environment to get started. So since I have created this particular virtual environment and I have installed the Streamlit and Cohere, so we'll just get started with the code. So the first two lines are nothing but we are importing the packages. And the next two lines, next file line what we are seeing here is nothing but your sidebar. So with side, st.sidebar, we have an API key which is a text input. And the type is equal to password. So what does that mean is when you are trying to paste some uh, key, it will be looking like a password. Okay, it won't be visible to your eye as a text. It will be just dots. And in the next line, what on the next three lines is nothing but your markdown URLs for a bunch of uh, what uh, code code base or how to get the API key. Okay, where you can run in code spaces, GitHub code spaces. So these are the URLs for that. So this contains our whole sidebar. So let me just close this one. Here comes our key part, which is our main uh, messaging uh, frame, where you have title is equal to chatbot. And then we have, if messages not in state dot session, which is extremely dot session state. Then what we do is, then we create a messages is equal to a default uh, role and message. Okay, this is the first part. So you should ensure that there is a session state getting created with some set of information. Okay, here in this case, the role is chatbot and the message is how can I help you? So the key point, key point is this particular role and message is one of the parameters required by Cohere endpoint. So we have to ensure that role is equal to chatbot and this particular key is message. And if you are using something called as OpenAI, instead of message, you will have content and instead of uh, chatbot, you will have assistant or system, something like that. Okay, we'll have some other uh, parameter here instead of chatbot and message. The role is same as in OpenAI and Cohere. Okay, this is the first uh, session state we are uh, initializing. Next, what we do is we talk about these two lines where each under the session state will have bunch of messages coming up. So we have to keep track of those messages. Since we are having a chatbot application, it has to keep track of all the chat. And when you are asking a new prompt is given, it has to understand the previous conversation and generate the result. That's why we keep track of all the messages and store it under chat message. So this is why we use these two lines. And then we have something called as prompt is equal to st.chat input. So this is the place where we pass our input. So if I go to this uh, particular chatbot UI, you will see your message. This is where you are sending your prompt. So in code, it is represented by line number 18. Once you pass the uh, input, then we check, first of all, if you have an API key or not. If it is not present, then it will be giving this message. Please add your Cohere API key to continue. Then it will stop. Okay. And then what we do is if you have an API key, then it will go to line number 24. Okay. Where we are creating a client along with the API key to interact with the Cohere endpoints. 
So here what we see is since we have got the chat input now it will be passed as a chat message as a user since you are an user your uh, role is user here in this case and your prompt will be passed there. Next to this along with this prompt the history of chat what we have collected here from the line number 16 it will also be passed here. Chat history and the prompt which, you are, which is your current prompt. So this will be passed to the Cohere endpoint and the response will be generated. Now if you look at here, once the response is given, okay, so what we can do is, since the prompt is still not part of the history, right? So what we can do is, we can pass this prompt as part of history we are appending it, such that in the next prompt that you are sending, this particular prompt is also available as part of the history. That's why we are appending it here. And the response that we get from the cohere, we can extract it using response.text. It will be stored as message inside a message uh, variable. And again, if you look at here, uh, session state dot messages dot append and the response again has to be passed as a chat history. So we are appending everything, whatever the conversation coming from our end, which is the user and also coming from the chat bot, everything is appended to the session state such that we can keep track of the history of the chatbot. And then what we do is, we try to push that message on the UI using chat message and this will be chatbot is the person who is sending this message and we are just pasting it here, dot write of message. So this is the whole code, okay, this is very pretty simple uh, chatbot application where we keep track of all the messages from the user and also from the chatbot. And, uh, how we are keeping track and how we are uh, showing it to the end user when we are uh, on the UI as well. So, let me run this particular application now. If I go here, simulate it run and it has given me this UI. And here first I will just paste my uh, API key for Cohere. So I have done that. Now if I go and see here, when I am running this application, it is showing local URL, it will be stored here, otherwise in the network URL you can see it here. So these are the two endpoints that you can hit to view the UI. Now if I go back to chatbot, I will just send a message, hi. So, so it has given me the response, hey, hi, how it's going, I hope you are having a fantastic day, is there anything else you like to talk about or any questions you have in mind? Okay, just ask what is a fruit oh let's see the response so a fruit is part of a plant okay let's so now we have given two prompts till now okay let me ask what is a plant now to understand the history right how history is coming into picture we have to understand bunch of things. So this is all this conversation, this prompt, what we have sent, the response generated by the chatbot, all these are part of the session. So let me ask it to summarize the conversation. Summarize the above conversation. Let's see, it should talk about plants and also fruit, all these things. So first the definition of fruit it has given Okay, and then it also talks about the plants. So this is what uh, the throughout the conversation we explored roles of fruits and plants play in human diets. Okay, so this is our simple application where you keep track of chat history and uh, you have like constant update with respect to the conversation. Okay, so with that I'll just. Uh, include this video. I hope you can easily build this application by just following up the whole code here.